What's up, guys? It's your boy Palacio. It's the boy Eli, and we are back again, uh, again consistently. Two weeks, two weeks running. Two weeks running. Uh, this one was a, a pain in the ass, though, bro. If we could tell you guys how hard it is to do this podcast and how much we actually <laughs> want to do it, because it took us at least an hour just to set this up, and this is our third time recording. This is our third <laughs> time recording. We recorded last week twice, twice. And it still got fucked up. Uh, today, we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions. Um, Happy New Year, first of all. Um, you know, coming into 2023, you know, it's it's tough, man. I, every Everybody's got their own battles and everything like that. Um, speaking of battles, they got the El Chapo Wars going on in Mexico right yeah, now. Yeah, that shit's nuts. Uh, Planes getting shot up and whatnot. It's, it's crazy. They try to, from what I heard, excuse me, I'm not, I, I didn't get super into it or anything, but, um, they tried to extradite him last time, but they didn't get him mm-hmm. like, uh, soon enough to extradite him. So like all of his homies went to the jail and pretty much they were forced to, God. to set him free. But this time they extradited him in time. So, uh, it's like a full on war and, uh, it's, it's crazy to see just like Googling it and, uh, looking at the news reels. It's, it's yeah. insane. I saw a video like there are people in a in a plane. I'm assuming some part of Mexico. I don't see mm-hmm. where, but they're shooting they're at the shooting plane. At yeah, it, yeah and everybody's in the plane just like ducking, <laughs> trying not to get hit. And, bro, that sounds like a fucking horror movie. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds wild. horrible. That's that's too crazy. I, I think uh, a lot of it's still getting not really covered as much. Yeah, I mean, I heard about it, but not from like a whole bunch of sources. Yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy because that's a whole like. I know the war in Ukraine and everything is going on and still Russia and all that craziness. But, I mean, Mexico's like a couple hundred miles south. Man. But I guess, too, Mexico has had cartel problems for. Yeah, but ever, I feel I like it's know. gotten progressively worse yeah. in our generation. Like, like, like I said, I'm 27. You're what, 26. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, it's know. been huge, you know, with the whole Sinaloa cartel. And then now it's kind of like breaking off. And, you know, obviously they don't have El Chapo. Yeah. At, the, at the head of everything so it's it's kind of getting split up and everything but it's, it's just it's a wild because it's like more violence and there's people just shooting 50 cals at an airplane in mexico like yeah, trying to bring it down and there's an actual war with the police and i don't even know if the military is involved yet but like the cartel like it's an active war zone and it's barely getting into coverage it's pretty crazy yeah the thought of that even just like happening here just doesn't even seem a possibility but it's happening in To our neighbors, basically. Yeah, I think it's I don't think it'll get any actual coverage until this stuff starts happening a little over the border more consistently. I mean, obviously, the drug problem has been going on for, you know, war on drugs is like forever long. I mean, people aren't people like smoking weed, people ongoing losing battle. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, um, that's not a battle they're going to win. No, Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you convince people not to do drugs, which good luck. Um I mean, there's not a whole lot that I see that you can do. I mean, the legalization, like getting marijuana legalized across the board or even like hypothetically all drugs, the uh, the cartel is still going to find a way to make money, man. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, they, they've been they they're, they're, it's money. not going away, yeah. but it's trying to find some way to constructively constructively, you know, put put our resources down because, you know, it's not like the United States doesn't care about other people's problems and everything. We're always have our foot in something, you know, I mean, we just spent like, I don't know, a couple trillion dollars supplying Ukraine with weapons Yeah. and Mexico has been like the cartel has been a problem and immigration and over flooding of the, the border and everything. It's not like it's new or anything. Mm, yeah, no, it's so all news. if, if we could have that money for people in Ukraine, I'm, it's like I said, ne- Mexico's right there. And they're our number one uh, trade import and export relationship. I don't. I don't know why it's not covered more. Mostly, like just being like a, like our neighbors. Like I said, you would want that to be like a cleaner area, not like clean, just not an active war zone. I mean, when it was like when I was growing up, you heard like people going down to Cabo for, you know, uh, for spring break in college and stuff. That shit ain't happening now. Yeah. Like it's like you got to be careful everywhere you go. And people get kidnapped and. I remember a few years ago, I think it was a firefighter from Arlington. I could be wrong, but it was somewhere in the DFW where he went down to Mexico and he was like in Cancun or something. And uh, he ended up getting caught up in some shit and yeah. got killed down there. Damn, I didn't I didn't hear about that. But yeah, I mean, it was a couple of years ago. 
Yeah, but just thinking about like what can possibly be done, I don't know. But I know there's a lot of people. Well, there's just so much corruption and whatnot, like with the. Yeah. It's, yeah, but it's hard. Like I don't know. There's there's just not a good solution for that. Um, it's above my pay grade. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Throw a couple trillion dollars, half the budget gets lost in, yeah. in the process. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> good old government work, man. Um, but New Year's. I uh, hope you guys are having a great new year, uh, trying to be productive with work. <coughs> excuse me. I've been trying to get over being sick for like the last week and a half. So excuse my voice if you guys can hear it. Trying to get everything that we want for the new year's done. I mean, like I said, we've been wanting to do the podcast for two years yeah. and it went by so quick. But now we're getting it done. We're not going to stop until it's consistent. And yep. And we just get going, man. Uh, picky promises like, mean the world, so we picky promise too. <laughs> uh, do you have any like New Year's resolutions that you're working on or anything like that? Uh, New Year's resolutions, it's pretty much, well, like my I feel like my my New Year's resolution started late 2022, and it was just to kind of keep this positive mindset, positive energy, yeah, and just like continue building the blocks of uh of the future of my future life. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, and I just try to set things in place and accomplish certain goals to where, you know, at the end of 2023, going on to 2024, I'm in a whole like different spot financially, mentally, just like you know, personal growth and whatnot. Not a uh, obviously, I have some goals, but it's not more of the, like accomplishing the goals, it's always like staying positive and not giving myself an excuse to like, all right, I could do that tomorrow. A little after Christmas and before New Year's, right around that mark. Um, I kept on telling myself, man, I'm going to get back in the gym. You know, I'm tired of, you know, getting sick and then losing weight and then losing muscle and, you know, <clears throat> working out once a week inconsistently or twice a week. And then just, you know, getting off work, man, I'm so tired, you know, making excuses. So I was just like, you know what? It's not going to change unless I make a change. Yeah. Like nobody cares that I work 12 hours or, you know, whatever my job is like. I was like, I have, thankfully I have a job that, we have a gym like in in the station so you know as soon as i get off work with the exception of getting a late call uh I forgot you guys that don't know i'm a paramedic with the exception of getting a late call and it like takes like an extra hour um i'll i'll clock out and immediately just go work out you know 30 minutes 40 minutes it, it doesn't it, it's the hard part is getting there yeah. once you're there you it, you're already there you Thanks. might as well do the work and like just the first uh two weeks getting it done it's just like my mindset feels a lot better and i don't even feel t like more tired when mm -hmm. i get home because the thing is like i would give myself an number like man you worked all day you're exhausted you had a lot of stress just get home try to unwind and go back to bed because you you know i work uh four days in a row so but, like i work the next morning you know it is what it is uh just tr try to recover but then i would think i'm like am i really giving myself an excuse because i'd get home i'd eat i'd watch some tv for like maybe two hours and then yeah. go to sleep. I'm like, what's 30 minutes of a workout going to kill me? Like not watching that movie for an hour and a half. Like, yeah. Or not, just make, not watching that show. Just yeah. Just making excuses for yourself. And, uh, like my body's just not going to be like, Oh yeah, he's tired. We should probably work extra time to, to get muscle. Like yeah. it's not going to happen <laughs> unless I do it. So yeah, just stuff like that. And, um, for, um, most of the people don't know, like I'm practicing Spanish and, um, I've been teaching myself sign language for like really, really small pieces uh, for like a year, year and a half, uh, teaching myself how to uh, read music, how to play piano by myself, like all the stuff that I'm teaching myself. And it's just, I enjoy doing it, but like the consistency is off. So you never really like get yeah. those developmental strides. And, uh, you know, you can either make excuses or you can get it done. So this year I'm, I've been more committed you know, I got a journal. I have one that syncs with my laptop and my phone. And then I have a written journal because uh, from some of the books that I was reading, it helps to have like a physical, um, a physical thing to write in to, for your mind to look at and mm -hmm. say, you know, this is the goal for today. And it, <clears throat> it only takes an extra five, <coughs> man, sorry. It only takes an extra five minutes of waking up in the morning and like, all right, this is what I'm going to do today. I'm mm -hmm. going to practice sign language for 10 minutes you know we'll have a break or practice Spanish for five minutes we'll have a break it's and it's just like any progress is good progress but you have to be consistent with yeah. it and that's the biggest part for me it's just like not giving myself excuses to not get it done or like oh it can it can be done tomorrow like if it's something I want to do 
I, I need to get it done. Personally, I want like because my my parents speak Spanish. I don't know if your my my, only my does. dad does. Yeah. yeah, but like so, my mom speaks Spanish. She uh, it's her first language, and um, apparently when I was younger, that was our first language too before I moved to from California. And don't say, don't say. I didn't say nothing. Don't say it. I didn't say nothing, bro. I almost. You've been. I'm, here I'm texting. You've been I've here been long 20 enough. Twenty plus years. I, I got. I you're got valid. the badge. You're valid. But <laughs> even though you're like a fan, I let it slide. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, when we moved here, we stopped using Spanish because my mom didn't want me to like develop an accent, and you know, we we didn't really have any family here when we first moved, so it was like just English. And you, I, I like lost that because I obviously didn't use it when I was young. And um, it's embarrassing, like people thinking that you speak Spanish, yeah. and then we're getting called a no sabo kid. Yeah, it's for all you bullies that are watching this that bully me for not speaking Spanish. Missile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't want my kid to go through that. You know, I'm expecting a kid in a couple months, and um, he's gonna look Hispanic because he he is Hispanic. <laughs> and uh, I don't, you know, I just don't like that feel. Like it's not a, it's not terrible. But just, I don't want to, I don't want to know Spanish so people can stop doing that. But it's like, it also is like a cultural thing. Yeah. And, um, but like we'll have a family that speaks Spanish and you want him to be able to. Yeah. Like my great grandma, interact, um, interact with that she family. only, she's been here. I don't know how long, but she's like 90. Mm -hmm. Like she's not going to learn English. Uh, she's like, even her, she's been going to school for like 10, 15 plus years trying to learn English. And it's like bit by bit. What's the hardest language in, yeah. in the world? So got if. Five different theirs. Cans mean the same shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's too much. There, there, and there. <laughs> um, yeah, and I was like, if you can do that, like, just put some effort into it, I can, you yeah. know, I can pick it up. You know, I want that for my kid. Uh, even uh, they say that uh, children, they can do sign language before they can speak. So it's like I want to be able to do that and have that, like, connection with my kid. And mm -hmm. it's just an and it's another great skill to have, like, when I use ASL for uh, when I'm a paramedic and it's, it's been like maybe a handful of times, but it's awesome. Like to see someone's face light up when they're like, I'm sorry, they don't speak. They can't like, they can't hear. So mm -hmm. they only like sign or ask them like, well, they can they sign? And then I'm able to, you know, at least get a general knowledge of yeah, what's going get some on kind and everything. Of information and, and just like, they feel so happy because they can talk to somebody like yeah, I, yeah. I feel like it'd be so frustrating if I was speaking English and everybody else was speaking like Cantonese or something like that. Like I'd be pissed Yeah. because it's like, I'm not stupid, but it, nobody can understand. Yeah. Me. Like someone help me out here. Yeah. Even with that, sure, I'm, I'm sure they feel like a whole lot better knowing that some kind of knowledge is getting across to somebody else who can help them with whatever they're needing assistance yeah. with. So that's good. That's awesome. Yeah. But it's like small stuff like that. Uh, and I know it can get done. It's not like, the hardest thing in the world but yeah. just stay in that consistency and i don't care what everybody says about like oh new year's resolutions don't like all these people are in the gym and you know they're just here because new year's resolutions are going to fall off in a minute like don't listen to them if you can start or stop whenever you want just get it done nobody really cares yeah it's about that one percent like being one percent better every day <laughs> yeah i mean this is the goal that you should really strive for and and if you're like enthusiastic about going to the gym or I don't know a lot of people who go to the gym consistently that would look down on somebody to try to get into shape. Like if 10 people, if it's like super, super busy in January and 10 people go into the gym because they're new and one stays with it, like that's a good thing. Yeah. Like you should be happy about that. I mean, it's a community and, um, you know, it, it's just a uh, one small thing at a time. It, it makes a huge difference. I was never more depressed and anxious and feeling like shit more than when I wasn't going to the gym, when I was, you know, barely working or being lazy, um, didn't want to go out, uh, didn't want to do stuff with my family, um, you know, playing video games all day. And it, it's fine if you do, but like going up and being motivated and having a purpose, it just yeah. like for your mental health, it, it's so huge, man. Yeah, well, even like not even the gym, like if you go out and just be outside and enjoy nature, you know, do some kind of do something outside. Just as long as you're doing something, like it, it feels better. You feel more accomplished as a person. Yeah. You don't feel like that, you know, lazy, lazy sack of shit. You might feel mm -hmm. like, as long as you're like just accomplishing something, getting like little goals done, giving yourself mm -hmm. some kind of like an accomplishment feed. Yeah. I mean, even like the other day, I was walking my dog and I was like, damn, it's so nice outside. Like, I could be watching TV inside or I could take my dog for a walk. And it's just like, I know it's not. <laughs> 
going into the forest or anything, but it like being outside and just that's where we're supposed to be. Yeah. I mean, everybody's with, you know, social media and you can access literally anything on your phone. Mm-hmm. Everybody being more and more isolated because of social media and everything, you lose that connection and you can see it. Like it took me a long time. Uh, I wouldn't call myself like an extroverted person, but I have no problem going up to someone and talking. And that has a lot to do with uh, like me in high school. Um, I was quiet. So I like I joined theater and and it helped me break out doing that. And then with my jobs, it's like I talk to people yeah, you got choice for the whole day. <laughs> like, I, yeah, that's how I get yeah. information. So like you just have to put yourself in. Eventually, it'll feel like like I still get embarrassed and stuff, but it's uh, it's a lot easier for me to talk to people out in public and everything um, because I don't know if it's like this newer generation or everything, but like talking to someone, like texting someone and calling someone's not the same. And I don't know anybody now who would rather call someone than than text. Like it's like almost weird if you were like, hey, let me call you real quick. Like why? What's, yeah. what's wrong? Well, you I know? guess I don't know. To me, it's like certain people that I'm cool with. Well, I think guys do it a lot less than yeah. than than women texting, like your parents, and especially since you know if you don't live with your your family anymore, if they're far away, you never know when the last day is with your family that you got. So like, I try to call my mom or you know go and see them at least once a week, maybe twice a week if I can, and um, I know that they appreciate it, but like it 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 does something to me like when I'm I'm around family um, my family does like a family night every every Monday and unfortunately at work so I haven't been able to be part of it but like before I was working we did it consistent we've been doing it consistently like almost six seven years and Mm -hmm. it's like it's such a de-stressor yeah you know just to be around family for you know a couple hours and just talk about life it it makes a huge difference if you stay in your own bubble for so long you eventually think that that's all that life is. Yeah. It's your own little bubble. Once it's, you start transitioning out, it's like, holy shit, this is a whole mm-hmm. whole new world. Yeah. And there's so much stuff that's going on and so like, so many opportunities out there. Just like to meet cool people or, uh, you know, try different things. It's like huge. And I think it's a big thing with, uh, with us, like being in the United States that we're just so like, this is what we got going on. Yeah. That it's, we're so oblivious to everything else. So we even like just state to state difference too. Yeah. That is like a, is a big difference. The um, stereotype, I guess, was like people in the Midwest, they're like super friendly and outgoing and like basically Canadians in the United States and stuff like that. Like I've never been there, but that's like the yeah, vibe like that the, you get. The Minnesota people are very nice. Yeah. And, and it's like, there's a part of like a community, which is people just seem like that's a, a hard place to live. I mean, you got winters and you got hella snow. You should be like the, people up in Boston. They say the mosquitoes the time, in Minnesota is like the swarm is like a, just a giant cloud of, of mosquitoes. I believe it. Yeah. It, like they said, the mosquitoes over there are insane. Like over here in Texas, we got some bad mosquitoes. The mosquitoes be like this big. Yeah. Some goddamn grasshoppers. I brought a, I had a mosquito fight back on me. It's just crazy. <laughs> Start slap boxing. For real. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to be this big, bro. I promise you don't. Bro, it's these genetics, man. Everything, ev- all, all of the food. The fucking. You know, everybody's getting bigger. Yeah. They're drinking our blood. They're getting their genes. Fucking steroid ass mosquitoes baby. out here. Hell yeah. <laughs> Shit. <coughs> no, but 2023, it's. Uh, I've had this feeling even like before 2023. I just, I just feel like it's going to be like a really solid year. Yeah. Like I know it's the whole cliche shit. Oh, this is my year, my year. But. To me, like New Year's is always just it's another that Jordan year, baby. Huh? It's that Jordan year. Facts. It might be, bro. Yeah. It might be. That's that's what the feeling is. But like, this is the first year I feel like I actually had like, man, like something, something just feels like it's gonna happen this year. Like yeah. so, something big is gonna happen. My life is gonna change for the better. Mm-hmm. And that's I'm trying to manifest it. Trying to keep the positive energy. Yeah. And it's it's exciting. Like I have like an anxiousness of excitement, just like yeah. waiting for like for things to really go my way and. And like, just take it. Like, take take what I feel like I'm owed. You gonna take it? I'm gonna take it. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. No, no, no. I'll do that. My boy, my boy. Hey. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, say, hey, yo, my no. guy. <laughs> I'm just, I'm talking about like, like in the work life, you know, like, like really, really in the work life, to where like I can get myself really financially like 
like good, like in a good space. Yeah. And then uh, I'm working on, you know, getting multiple streams of income, having money coming in and out. Mm-hmm. I want to, I want to travel, bro. That's that. If we're going to do a new year's resolution, yeah. 2023, I want to travel. Uh, I'm going to Vegas actually tomorrow. So whenever this drops, I'll be in Las Vegas doing God knows mm-hmm. what, with God knows who, <laughs> but what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah. But like I have this trip lined up and then, uh, you know, I have some friends who are, are trying to go back to Vegas in September for a bachelor party. Mm-hmm. And then I talking about trips to Austin to go float the river and whatnot. And it's just, man, I want to get out there. I want to explore the world. Yeah. I want to explore Texas some more. I've been here 16 years, 17 years, and I've seen, you know, a good amount of it, but Texas is so damn big. There's, yeah. there's so much to see. So traveling and seeing different parts, seeing different things of the world, mm. even if it's just in the States, is something I really want to accomplish. Yeah. A lot of the, the mindset and setting yourself apart is like cutting ties with, you know, all the bullshit that that's holding you back or yeah. the people that you surround yourself with. Like, luckily, our, our, our crew is, like, we all support each other. And every time we got something going on, we'll help each other out. Or, yeah. you, know, you always have a shoulder to, to lean on. Yeah. And then when something's going good, I feel like it's not like a... It, it is a competition, but it's not like we're putting each other down. It's like, yeah. oh, I see you doing good. I'm trying to get at your level, so yeah. I'm not you, holding you back. You, you don't want to be the one left behind, like, yeah. in, in your group. Yeah, but it's never been like, oh, fuck you because you got that good job yeah. or, you know, you're, you're doing good in life or, you know. Yeah, no, it's like, oh, shit, like, my boy is doing this. Like, that's fucking fantastic. Yeah. What do I need to do to level up? Because I want to get like that, too. Yeah. That's and that's the kind of mentality that we be having. And, you know, I feel it's a very healthy mentality. It, it's a major difference between who you surround, surround yourself with. Like, I know <clears throat> some people don't have the best, like, family relationship, and that's kind of tough. Staying in the right mindset has a lot to do with who you surround yourself with and, it's even like small things like uh, you can choose to be around the people who want to drink and party every week. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Like not that there's anything particularly wrong with that, but if you're doing that and not following up on what you want to accomplish and everything that's holding you back, it's like you got to kind of choose. And everybody has, I feel like uh, everybody's party stage is important. Like when you were in your early twenties, like it, it was good for me because I was like, all right, uh, I've been fucking up for about a year. Yeah. And now I know, you know, if I don't get better, then I know what my life is going to be. Yeah. Like well, now. also, like, too, like, you want to kind of have it in your early years, too, because it, it's bound to happen for most yeah. people. And if that shit happens, you know, when you're a little bit older, you know, having a family kind of thing. Yeah, there's more stuff to fuck up. Yeah, and you have a lot to lose when you're 19, 20 years old and shit, even up to, like, 23, 24 sometimes. Yeah, I mean, every, every, it's different for everybody, I think. Um, yeah. You know, luckily, I like it just personally for me during that time of life, like it was the best and worst at the same time. Like it was the best because I got to experience so much, got to kind of find out what I wanted. Um, but like I was broke, <laughs> I was broke a lot. <laughs> uh, there's many times where we were just like Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We yeah. were drinking every single beer pong, beer pong night. Like, X's and like, girls bro, I would, I would, I would. <laughs> get off at like what seven seven thirty and it'd be like thursday night and there's nothing in the group chat and i would be like all right don't say nothing and then i'd see a little something pop off in the group chat all right we're going to palacios and nexus tonight <laughs> like no nah, bro i gotta work in the morning not this week man and we're like now nah, we're coming over yeah. here and they'd be there before you even got there <laughs> i mean it's good like everybody needs that time but it's just like that happens and it's in your early 20s then it's in your mid 20s yeah. and it's in your 30s like you got to evaluate what you want in life and where you, where you're at, man. I mean, yeah. if, if that, there's nothing wrong with like being content in life, but if you know that you have more potential and this is not what you want, you got to You got to change something. I feel like the ending, the middle to ending of last year and obviously the beginning of this year now is like where I really feel like my potential is going to shine. I think that's like the anxiety that I'm feeling like the healthy mm-hmm. anxiety, I would say. Yeah. I'm feeling is like, I am, like the vision's clear to me now where it's like I, I'm seeing the path like I'm I'm taking and that's exciting yeah it's, it's like random. starting a new job or like yeah. moving to a different state or something like it's like you don't you don't know what's coming but it's like you know it's something good yeah definitely something good and I I feel like the the positivity mindset is a very real thing like yeah. the, the energy that you kind of put out into the world is what the world will give back to you mm-hmm so uh, that the positive the positivity mindset for me is is very important that I need to maintain this level of posi- mm-hmm. positivity. I know days will be 
gloomy or dark or whatever. But my favorite, I, I tell this to everybody whenever someone comes to me like with issues, I always tell them that the rain only lasts for for a little bit. It never rains for forever. Yeah. The storm ends eventually, and mm-hmm. after after a storm, everyone knows it's a beautiful day. The next mm-hmm. day, it's always pretty, yeah. and you know you just got to keep pushing forward, keep it moving. Yeah, and I know it's kind of corny to do quotes and everything, but one of my favorite quotes is from Frederick Douglass, and it's uh, "Without struggle, there is no progress." It's like you got to be in the slums in order to appreciate, yeah, like where you're going. And I think there's something to be said about hard times. Like I like we were never poor, but. It there was a struggle. Yeah. Like I when I never had to worry about like eating or nothing like that, but I'd always feel like I feel like I was a burden if I was like asking my mom for new clothes or something like that. Mm-hmm. Because I was like, I know, you know, shit's tight. Like we were never like struggling to eat, but it was just like I d I don't know, you know, I wanna ask for le- like even like a sixty pair or sh- like sixty dollars a pair of yeah. shoes, like it should be like, like I got a single mom and you know, I don't like they try to keep it as like that don't worry about it. I'm the adult. I'm handling everything. But mm-hmm. like looking back at now, like I'm 27. I'm like, bro, I don't know how she did it. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> there's, I think there's something to be said about like coming up that way. It's like, you know, the value of stuff because you know, the value of nothing. Yeah. It's like, you're no, going to treat sure. them shoes a lot better than you did. If you get a new pair every month, like, and uh, it breeds like mo- most of the billionaires in the United States, they're self-made. Yeah, quote unquote self made, <laughs> but like a little disclaimer there. Uh, but uh, that's it's like hard work, man. You you work hard, and even in anything, it's sports and and school, uh, you know, finance, uh, entrepreneur, anything you think about. Like you gotta you gotta make it happen for yourself. Nobody's yeah. gonna give it to you. And uh, once you get there, it's like you appreciate it. Unless you so get a small more. loan of a million dollars. Small loan with. of a million, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a measly loan. Come on, <laughs> even hundred thousand. I'm going out to a nice lunch. Uh, I can't believe you said that shit. Fuck that guy. Uh, <laughs> you, you just like appreciate everything a little more, and that's a big thing um, that I'm trying to do more. Appreciate everything that I have, and um, you know things could always be better, and I'm trying to make them better. Yeah. But that doesn't mean like. I am, I'm so grateful for what I got now. shit could always be worse. Yeah. Like I said, I, mean, I, I remember like having that two bedroom apartment, two or three dollars in my bank account, you know, some eating popcorn, <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner, <laughs> you know, and dessert with sleep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's the best dessert. <laughs> yeah. No calories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy, that should have make you stuff, man. <laughs> I never got tired of that. Uh, man. It's like intermediate fasting. Yeah. <laughs> Hot water soup, baby. Fuck. <laughs> Got that boneless water didn't have ice trays. Hell yeah. And <laughs> boneless water. <laughs> oh shit. Um, but yeah, like uh and now I have like I got a, a place with my wife, I got a kid on the way, you know, we got a studio, we're actually able to do these videos, and it's not like we ain't Joe Rogan up in this bitch, yeah, but no. like like it's nice and you know, um, you know, I'm working you know, 48, 50 something hours a week. It's tough, but you know, you got to grind before, you know, it gets better. And, yeah. you know, I've never been afraid to, to work my ass off. And that's, that's what it takes. It, what it, it's what it takes. Like nobody's going to hand it to you. I know everybody thinks that, that, uh, 999, is it 999? Yeah. 999 million dollar, uh, jackpot. That's, that's up right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We, Everybody's we, gonna hit that. Home. We did a we did a pot at work. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing one like the last two weeks. Yeah, I don't blame you. Like when it gets that high, I'm like shit. I like, might yeah. waste a couple dollars. But um, you know, I was actually talking to uh, my brother in law about it. He said everyone who buys it knows they're not gonna win, but it's the idea of fantasizing about if you win it makes it so much fun. Yes, man. Like and even, honest, yeah. Even in the group chats, we're like. We'll, we'll get oh, like we a, did it one that, going and be like, yeah. yeah, if I win, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna do this. Like, <laughs> it's nice. It's nice to think, even like just having the conversation. Like, ah, that's worth a couple bucks. Just yeah, to, just to have that just, in your mind. Just for the shits and giggles. Yeah, and but fuck, fucking knows you might hit that bitch one day. Yeah, but uh, I mean, someone got to win. Someone got to win. Might as hey, well be. Hey, if it, if it's me, we're doing this podcast on a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can be like, nah, this is a green screen. We ain't change up. The, we ain't the, let the money change. The podcast still gonna be here. <laughs> This is gonna be a little bit bougier. Yeah. <laughs> Cause uh, if y'all know me, I, I like nice things. <laughs> yeah. What was that? I don't even remember that. Thing. <laughs> um but yeah, like you can get you can always be better in life. I mean, shit happens, you know, economy. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me, shit happens, the economy happens and all that. Like there's some stuff that you can't predict, but there yeah. is always a way up. Like us, we have like a good set of people around us where, you know, if something were to happen, we wouldn't be out on the street. I mean, that's a tough situation. Yeah. But like, there's always something you can do. I mean, if you're, if you're complaining that your problems are like so terrible, but you're not like doing anything about it, then like. To me, I feel like depending on like issues at hand, you have to allow yourself to go through like the pain of it or that like, you know, allow yourself time to be down and feel sad about it. I can't I can't put a time step on it, but like you have to allow yourself time, but you can't just make that like I guess like your personality mm-hmm. like to where it's like, oh, this is the sad guy, he's depressed because yeah. this happened, you know, ten years ago. Like give your I like putting a time step on it sounds crazy. I, I don't wanna do that, but uh like you have to give yourself time to like, you know, reflect the situation, mm-hmm. feel the situation, let it like let it internalize. Mm-hmm. And then once, like, you kind of get over it, quote, unquote, like, you got to keep pushing forward, got to go harder. Yeah. And just honestly use that, like, as a kind of motivation for, like, that situation to never happen to you again. Yeah. Like, no matter what it is, you can you can twist it into a positive light, pretty much whatever happens. You have to try to twist that to a positive light to keep your mindset healthy, keep your mindset going strong. Like, yeah. you know, I got to keep pushing forward. So this shit works out for me. Yeah. I mean, I agree. There's, like, a small thing I would say that, I, I have a little bit of a disagreement with it's just like I like giving myself a timestamp like <clears throat> I'm hit this goal by the end of this and it's not necessarily well like, like you like you hit the you, goal. you can get one well, I'm you, just saying like in general like I can't say no only give yourself a week I'm just saying like you figure out yeah, how long you want to yeah, give yourself I got you. and but I feel like uh like at least me mentally in my head I'm like all right if I need to get this done by like I want this accomplished by like November then when November comes and if I ain't hit it, I'm not sweating. But it, since I have that, that's the finish line. That's mm-hmm. where it's at. Then I feel like I'm a lot closer to the goal if I set it at yeah. that time. So th- like for me, I like setting like I have what I want to accomplish this year or in 10 years and stuff. And it's just like every, you know, whenever I'm choosing to be lazy or like not really want to do it, I'll like look at like, all right, what do I want to get done? Like, mm-hmm. how am I going to get there? And, you know, I may not get it by the time <clears throat> the the date rolls around, but I'm a lot closer than if I hadn't started at all, you know? So Yeah. As long as, like, you feel yourself, like, working towards or, like, you're accomplishing that goal little by little. I mean, yeah. Because shit happens. Shit gets in the way. Sometimes it is out of your control. But, I mean, it's about how you bounce back from it, how you deal with the adversity, like, coming from things. Because it's just not, it's not a fucking strawberry field and cupcakes. <laughs> Yeah. This shit's tough. Like shout out, shout out honestly to my parents and uh mm. and my stepmom especially. Mm. Like they didn't sugarcoat shit for us. It was this life fucking sucks. Yeah. But you're gonna have moments to where you appreciate it and like you enjoy it and that's what you deal like with the shitty shit for. Yeah. Like uh like the quote you just gave. Yeah. Like, you know, you have to deal with the struggle and then when the enjoyment comes from it, you enjoy it that much more it's that much sweeter it's that much better yeah because of like what you had to go through to get it and the way like my parents would put it for us and uh now me being on my own and seeing everything firsthand like actually like seeing things firsthand yeah, no, i got you just in my head it came you know i don't i don't know if you've had it but i know a lot of people who's gonna watch this have had it and you don't have to admit it or nothing but like getting them pregnancy scares like oh shit what am i gonna do and then like oh i might be pregnant and then they're not I'm like damn i avoided a bullet in my life could have been <laughs> i fought mayweather with the never lost undefeated <laughs> it's just like the grass smells like <laughs> the grass looks greener the the flowers smell better you know you ain't got no you know fuck did you get that from this? i'm just saying man it's like Oh, well, okay, so my <laughs> my brain process is like, you know how, <laughs> how people with cancer, I was like, once they get into remission, they're like, oh, life is so much better because I appreciate it now. Yeah. And I was thinking, I was like, well, I haven't had cancer, but, you know, I've had a couple of pregnancy scares. And, you know, I'm just saying, like, oh, you don't want to be like, <laughs> it's a struggle out here, man. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. That's, I'm sorry. Oh I was, uh, yeah. I was. Uh, That's my train of thought. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. What? You all with the motivation, and then me coming in with that. I'm just my bad. It just it went in my head. Okay, we're done. We're done. Hey, everybody, Moving type on. type C in the comments mm-hmm. to cancel him. <laughs> Get him out of here. I love women. Man. Come on, that's my problem. I love them too much. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you better pipe down. 
Dog gonna bust open. <laughs> Show ass. Oh, man. man. I'm a helper, too. God, man. Y'all see your ass open on camera. <laughs> nah, but yeah, no, like my parents, they, I feel like they put us all in a position to where we all, we all grew up the same, but we all grew up differently. Like we had different paths to like where yeah. us siblings are reaching, mm-hmm. but I feel like we're all like heading towards a, like a good path. And like yeah. figuring the shit out and making it work for us. Yeah, that, that's yeah. I feel like that with my my siblings too. Um, <clears throat> it's like we we all did very different things with our life, but and it's insane. Like coming from the same household, same lessons, same everything. Mm-hmm. How differently? Like, yeah, you, you know, interpret you, it. Yeah, and, you know, your life experience makes makes things go. Yeah, different. But then at the end of the day, almost it's like you all still are reaching the same yeah. goal, which is you know to make your parents proud, be successful young adults. Yeah, and and we don't like. <clears throat> uh we don't mean success isn't like a financial like that's an important thing yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cap and say it's not but like finance or uh success a roof over your head yeah food ha- on the table yeah being able to raise a family yeah. like closing your being back. good at what you're you're doing like i don't want to be a, a mediocre paramedic or like my brother's a professional chef like he can throw down yeah. like he doesn't just want to be like a cook that's like the, that's the bro, better version, the American Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, yeah, recognize. My, my brother can cook. Like I've never oh, met yeah. anybody more passionate about cooking and like steps up and does like what it. Gabe, you better be watching these fucking videos. I'm shouting you out right now. Yeah. Remember the ribs he made us with the grilled asparagus at your mom's uh, house? Yeah, I still think about that shit bro. to this day. That shit was phenomenal. He, he was like playing around and I uh, like I don't know. I was like 22 or 23. He made like some salmon, or I was gonna make some salmon, and he was like, "Bro, I got you." Like. <laughs> bro, I still think about that salmon, like and even like I was gonna make some chicken show. thighs after a workout or something. Yeah. He was sp- spreading some like paprika and some like salt bay shit. Oh, <laughs> he put it, he put it like on the he, on the grill, yeah. and then he put it in the oven just to give it like that little crispiness, oh, bro. Oh my god! Like and it's small stuff like that. Like you appreciate your craft, and you're like, this is what I do. Yeah, you know, and, and I do this shit like to this level <laughs> yeah. right here. Like y'all not fuck y'all not fucking me with it. Yeah. And you know, success is is different for for everyone. My <clears throat> my sister, she's doing her her own thing. Uh, she's got a master's in psychology. Like like it's all different stuff. But it's like, where do we want to be? We're always striving to do something. Yeah. You know, where you want to be, you can you can be. You just got to put in the work. I think that's a big thing about this year. And I feel like it's starting to on social media. It's it's coming like slowly back to like positive a little bit more positivity on social mm-hmm. media like people are like <clears throat> i don't know if it's just like my feed just because of that's that's what i i'm into and what i look at and um but like going it could to be the i think it could be a being of, like, like a little bit of both to where it's like you know the, now it, it preferences your shit yeah but. people are like you want to grind you want to get this done you want to you know yeah and uh i think we're seeing a, a starting to see a flip um because like our generation i don't feel I feel like we were a lot more grateful for the opportunities and stuff that we had than like the previous generation the before like after us that's like oh like the world owes me something <clears throat> it's like nah that that ain't yeah. that ain't the way it works dude it's <laughs> just like you're not special you're like you're not yeah like even if you have something to offer like bro everyone's gonna wake up everyone's gonna be born everyone's gonna die you are not well it's like the thing too like you know there's so many people that might have the same talent you have but who's going to put in the work? Who's, yeah. who's going to be the one to make shit happen? Yeah, exactly. Like, like you want it to be you, but like you got to make this shit happen because yeah. someone else is going to make it happen. Yeah. There's always someone outworking you and there's always something to strive for. And you don't have to com- like compare yourself to other people no. when it's like a one-on-one goal, but you're complaining that you didn't get the job, but he's putting in 20 more hours a week. Like who are you really mad at? Yeah. But if we can leave you guys with anything, just uh, coming in this new year, you can either be the same if that's what you want that's cool or you can you know level up and the decision is ultimately on you and uh we're not saying this because we think we're better or anything like not at all yeah no because i still have so much more to <laughs> yeah up. we got work to Progress. do and um you know you're gonna have bad days where you know escaping a workout or not doing something one day it's okay you know everybody has things life goes on you got to get shit done but uh it's the consistency of making that effort to do it so Thanks. if you got a goal to strive for it, you know, make it happen. Uh, if you if you have something to set, just one day at a time, man. That's all it really takes. And uh, just that one percent better. It's all you got to do. Just one percent better than you were last day. Yeah. And that's all that really matters. 
the progression. You're going to see the progression little by little. Mm-hmm. Rome wasn't built overnight. You know, shit doesn't happen overnight. It's, it's about the grind. It's about the the work you put in. So yeah. hope you enjoyed the podcast. If you did, uh, we'd really appreciate a like and uh, subscribe. You don't have to. We more than appreciate you guys yeah. just watching. If you stuck with it this this far, you know, yeah, this congrats is a pretty, to you. pretty long one. It's gonna but be I, long I feel one. like we dropped some gems in here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we got we got some good shit off. Yeah. And uh, trying to be consistent, man. Uh, hold us accountable. You know, uh, if we, you know, go a couple weeks or something like that, uh, try not to make that happen. But if we do, you know, hit yeah. us up. Hey, where the where the video is at? You know, uh, let us know. Yeah, let us know how to be fucking liars. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if there's something you want us to cover, hit us in the um, the comments or, you know, we'll put out our uh our new Instagram for the studio and our personal links and all that. So, uh, you know, shout us out, man. Uh, appreciate everything that you guys uh, have done for us. Just uh, giving us motivation to get this done and uh, tuning in really. That, that's oh yeah. And shit. everybody, like whoever gives us feedback, you know, I've had a people, couple, a couple people reach out to me about like, you know, the first episode that dropped. I really appreciate the feedback, you know, mm-hmm. I feed it back to him, whatever information I get. And, you know, it's, it's the same both ways. So we really appreciate like, you know, the feedback and, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it to help us be better for the next one. Yeah. So we really so, appreciate everybody watching and tuning in. That's going to be it guys. So tune out, uh, tune in next week. Uh, we're going to throw something at y'all. Have a good day. Peace.